here. Now, please to welcome in the head coach of Texas football and former BYU quarterback legend Steve Sarkeesian. Coach, great to have you on BYU Sports Nation. Appreciate you guys having me on. This is uh, kind of a welcome home in a weird way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, we're, we're tied for first for the people that like you the most. <laughs> As a former BYU guy, but... Yeah, obviously you've had a tremendous coaching career. Uh, people remember your 95 and 96 with you. What's it been like now going into year three at Texas where, hey, there's a unique dynamic in the last year of the Big 12 going into the SEC next year? Uh, it's been a great journey. You know, this is uh, obviously University of Texas, special place. And uh, humbled, honored to be the head coach here. Um, we've been trying to build something here that will be sustainable for years to come. And I think we've we've got ourselves in 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 a good position with the with the players on our roster with the staff continuity, uh, and we're going to need it. This is a this is a really tough conference, really from top to bottom. There's really good teams, really good coaches, and uh, it's always always a challenge in the in the Big Twelve to to go from from September all the way through into into December and, and try to be on top. Your quarterback Quinn yours is a, is a cool character, right? Really relaxing, and he told us he's like, look, I'm just, I. I'm trying to have fun. I'm trying to to enjoy this game. Because, playing a kid's game. Yeah, I'm playing, I'm playing a kid's game. What makes him unique of all the great quarterbacks and offenses you've worked with? What makes Quinn unique? Well, he has unique arm talent. You know, when you just when you watch him throw, he's not your prototypical robotic quarterback that does every drill exactly right, his footwork and all that. He can make every throw from one knee to one foot to two <laughs> feet to, to whatever that looks like. And, th- and that makes him definitely unique. Uh, but I, but I do think he's much more than that though too. I think he's got great rapport with his teammates. He's yeah. got he's got tremendous work ethic. Um, he puts in the time and the effort. Um, but he's the same guy today. We show up to media days and he's he's got his his crease jeans and his cowboy boots yeah, on. You know, he it. is who he is, and that's what I love about it as well. That he's very comfortable in his own skin with who he is. When you were at BYU, did you think, hey, I want to be a quarterback, or, or sorry, I want to be a coach later? And how much sort of influence? At that time, did you get from the BYU offense and the history there? Well, that was that was a great time. Like I, I had unbelievable rapport with Coach Edwards and and Coach Chow at that time, and I knew at that time I was not the most physically gifted guy. Like they, they had coached a lot more, you know, physically gifted quarterbacks than I was at that time, and then a lot more have come after me. So I had to find a niche to play the game where I could be. What I was, we used to say it all the time, the the fastest mental player on the field every play and that's how I tried to play and to do that I had to pick their brains all the time and uh, it worked for me Uh, I didn't know at that time that I wanted to be a coach Uh, I had people telling me that that's what I should do Uh, inevitably you start to you start to realize that you have a passion for it and then you know the history is what it is You, you get involved and you you're fortunate enough to get around good people and coach good players and you follow the right path and it, and it works out but at that time those were great coaches man and the, the, the style of play the you know we didn't run the ball maybe like other people did but we we moved the football effectively sure. because of an efficient passing game and uh it's always been something i've held on to hey you ran it pretty well against utah that season just just gonna that throw was the, a that, fun one dude i had 12 pass attempts <laughs> that know, game man i'm thinking like <laughs> I'm like, here it is, man. I want, I get to redeem myself. The year before, I threw four picks against him. Yeah. Okay, I didn't forget that. And I was like, here we go. We're we're going up to Rice Eccles, man. We got, we're that gonna was... take down the Utes. I threw the ball twelve times. <laughs> no, there was snow everywhere, believe me. But but Ronnie Jenkins uh, and Brian McKenzie, they, they, awesome. they had a heck of a day that day. That that thing. was special. What what do you remember the most from that '96 team? Because to us, that's still. I mean, you talk about the national championship team. they got to be up there, 83. Up there. 96 is one of the greatest teams ever at BYU. Yeah, what I remember about that team was a lot of it was the off season. You know, the year before, uh, we had a good team. Um, I think we went like 8-4 and four or something yeah. like that. You finished well against Fresno State, and, you specifically. And we tie for the conference championship. But we didn't get selected to go to a bowl game. Different era. And, and we essentially broke the streak. And it was like 20-some-odd years where BYU had gone to a bowl game. And so I think we all kind of that, – that galvanized us in a sense of, man, we got something to go prove. And we had to start off. We played A&M in week one, uh, you know, came to Provo, and we got a big win. And we went on a, a heck of a run in a, in, a, in a really cool journey together, culminating here in Dallas – winning the Cotton Bowl against Kansas State. So that was a really tight-knit group. Um, there may have 
been more talented BYU teams, but I don't know if there's been one that was as tight and together as that one was that won so many big games along the way in that season. Steve Sarkeesian, the head football coach of Texas, is with us on BYU Sports Nation. Coach, as, as you look at the preseason prognostications, and I know it's just like, yeah, yeah, whatever, media's going to do their thing, they're going to say what they say, but they again have tabbed Texas has the team to beat. How do you approach that, especially this year, the final year of Texas in the Big 12? Well, I, I think there's two things to what you said, and then I'm going to dive into it. You said, again, pick, te pick Texas. The last time Texas was picked to win the Big 12 was in 2009. And you did. Yeah, I know, but but it, it, you you know a lot of times there's a misnomer of what yeah. his the expectations have been here, but I will also say this: that's why I came to Texas, and I think that's why a lot of the kids that we've recruited are here now. Is you know we we've got a great brand, we've got a great platform, um, and, and we're in a tremendous conference, and so you come here because you want those expectations, you want those opportunities, you want to play in those big games, and so uh, expectations are what they are. The reality of it is what's going to define us is the way we play in the fall. Um, and so this stuff's great, you know, and, and, and what I love about it is I love college football. I love the fanfare. I love the excitement. Media Day signifies football's right around the corner. Uh, but ultimately, we, we've got to put it on the field, and, we, and we've got to play good football, and we're going to need to play good football uh, if we want to be champions. Well, we're looking forward to October 28th, the DKR. That'll be yeah. a lot of fun. It'll be great. I'm excited for it. Uh, it's, uh, it'd, be, uh, it'd be good for a lot of people and be great to see a lot of people as well. Coach, we appreciate the time. We know you're a busy man. Uh, BYU fans love you, and that is probably a huge understatement. So we appreciate the time. Your quarterback spoke glowingly about you and said that you've reminded him about the Cotton Bowl win a time or two. So. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to know. Well, you know, we, that's where we play OU every year yeah. is at the original Cotton Bowl. And uh, so whenever, when I walk out there, I always, you know, I'll find a player to, you know, I came back. We were down. We were down two yeah. scores. We threw two touchdowns. Came back and win. Man, it was awesome. Yeah, like James and I, cut it right and here. by the way, I said, and if you really do your research, I got a 15-yard unsportsmanlike Malasso. conduct penalty. So uh, <laughs> there's a lot that went into right? that. I yeah. said, so I wasn't perfect either. Just so you guys know, uh, <laughs> it was worth it. It, it, it was, was worth absolutely it. worth it, yeah. Coach. Thanks for the time. Thanks, All right, guys. It. Thank you.